Do not build a house. Right now could be the absolute worst time to construct a home. In today's video, I'm revealing 10 reasons why building a house could be a financial disaster. But don't panic. I have a game-changing strategy that's helping my clients here in Utah save tens of thousands of dollars when buying a house in this market. Imagine slashing your mortgage payment by hundreds of dollars every single month. Sound too good to be true? I promise you, it's not. If you're dreaming of owning a brand new home, this might be the most important video that you watch. The US economy, <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say it, we are living in wicked and wild times. It has been a complete nightmare for those of you who'd like to buy a house. But if you stick with me, I'll show you the path to homeownership salvation. Okay, so here's 10 reasons why building a house could be a huge mistake. Number one, economic uncertainty. The housing market has been schizophrenic the last few years, and with the presidential election approaching, things could get even crazier. Some experts are predicting a recession, even with the economy showing signs of recovery. I mean, honestly, who knows what's gonna happen? There are pros and cons no matter what happens. If the market bottoms or we're seeing an economic downturn, we could see any number of issues which I'm about to share. Number two, mortgage rates. This is one of the most important things to consider when buying real estate. When purchasing an existing home, you can lock your mortgage rate right after going under contract. When building a house, the risk is elevated because it'll take several months to construct the home and you can't lock your rate until the house nears completion. Building might be a good option because according to US News, mortgage rates should continue to decline this year as the economy weakens, inflation cools, and the Fed continues to cut rates. The article continued with the following predictions from leading forecasters. According to this chart, rates will drop into the low sixes by the end of 2024 and the mid fives by the end of 2025. But there's no guarantee. If rates go up, your mortgage payment could end up significantly higher, or you might not qualify to buy the house. Depending on how much money you've put down, that could be a financial disaster. Number three, labor shortages. The construction industry is still dealing with a shortage of qualified tradesmen <laughs> and women. According to the Home Atlas, this is driving up wages and making it challenging to find available contractors. This leads to delays, increased cost, poor workmanship, and etc. Number four, shortage of building materials. While things have improved since the pandemic, there are still disruptions in the supply chain for many building materials. This can delay projects and increase the cost, making budgeting for a new build more challenging. Let's take a deeper look into number five, delays. The time it takes to build a house has increased over the last few years as supply and labor issues persist. To minimize delays, some builders have chosen to swap out higher grade materials to whatever's available. And they're often pressured into hiring workers with little to no experience, increasing the likelihood of poor workmanship. Things haven't been too bad lately, but as economic conditions improve, more buyers will enter the market and builders will ramp up production. Increased demand will put a strain on supply as well as the workforce. And of course, this will lead to further delays. Number six, high construction cost. The combination of all these issues has kept the cost to build elevated in 2024 with the average price hovering around $150 per square foot. If mortgage rates continue to fall, as expected, more buyers will enter the market. As previously mentioned, this will only make things worse. This chart shows just how much construction costs have increased over time. So I wouldn't expect the price to build a house to decrease anytime soon, if at all. Despite everything I just talked about, we still need to consider number seven, Unpredictable home prices. Home prices are projected to increase in many areas due to high demand and low inventory. CoreLogic reported the average homeowner gained about $25,000 in equity over the past year. And housing experts predict real estate values will continue to increase through 2027. So if you bought a home for $400,000 in 2023, in five years, the value of your house could increase by more than $70,000. But despite these predictions, the volatility and unpredictability of the US economy, especially with the election coming up, makes it difficult to predict if home values will go up or down. Either way, home values in some regions will drop while others increase. That's why it's important to understand the market where you're looking to buy a house. But despite predictions of increasing home values, we can't ignore the number eight, affordability crisis. Buyers and builders face limited financial flexibility due to inflation, higher rates, and the cost of living, making it harder to justify the expense of a new build. In May of 2024, the National Association of Home Builders reported that nearly half of US home buyers can't afford a $250,000 home. And looking at this graph, 77% of US households can't afford a median priced home. 
This is definitely something to be concerned about, but it doesn't mean home prices have to come down. And even as prices for homes remain high, the overall affordability of housing has decreased recently as interest rates continue to come down. Due to current market conditions, millions of wannabe home buyers simply can't afford to purchase a house. So despite predictions of price increases, we should be prepared for number nine, a potential drop in property values. Some areas could see price drops of five to 10% and building in such markets could mean you're building a house that will be worth less than what you paid when it's completed. That, as we say in old Mexico, would be no bueno. Once again, make sure you have a firm understanding of the market in your area. Number 10, limits to customization. Thanks to material and labor shortages, you may not be able to find the specific products or materials that you want. Or builders may offer fewer options, reducing the personal touch that you can add to your home. I know this is a lot to take in. And unfortunately, the longer build times increase the chances of things going wrong. So considering all these factors, building a house at this time requires careful planning and financial readiness to navigate the potential pitfalls. And despite the uncertainty, as long as you can afford the house payment, it's almost always better than paying rent. If you're ready to build, reach out to a realtor where you live, but don't hire just any agent. Seek out a new home construction expert to guide you through the process. A specialist can help you find the best builders, negotiate a better deal, make valuable recommendations when designing your home, recognize mistakes or poor workmanship, and etc. If you're in Utah, that's me. Feel free to reach out to me with your questions. So what are your options? You can curl up and die, but no one wants to see that. You can keep paying rent or moving with your mommy or buy an older home. And because mortgage rates are expected to drop, building a house might work out great. But there's that one option I was talking about at the beginning of this video that's gonna blow your freaking mind. What am I talking about? Well, to get the best pricing and incentives, you'll wanna to talk to a home builder and check out what kind of deals they're offering on their quick move in homes. You might be surprised by the insane deals that many builders are offering. Due to the market slowdown, a lot of builders have too much standing inventory. These builders are often desperate to get these houses off their books. You can see huge price reductions or a massive incentive, and sometimes both. I know several builders here in Utah who've reduced their prices by tens of thousands of dollars and they're offering to pay your closing costs or for rate buy down. A few of them are offering a 30 year fixed rate in the fours. This would decrease your monthly mortgage payment by hundreds of dollars per month. Now, for those of you who are trying to time the market to get the best deal possible, you want to buy a house before the market turns. And as I just mentioned, you can get a crazy low mortgage rate from home builders today. So there's no reason to wait, especially if you're in a market where prices are expected to increase. If you'd like a deeper understanding of why it's a good time to purchase real estate, you'll want to watch, should you buy a house now or should you wait? If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, I get contacted all the time. Please feel free to call or text me with your questions. I'd love to meet you and I'm honored to serve you. For everyone else, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have a friend or a family member looking to build a house, you can easily text this video to them. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Ty the Real Estate Guy. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell. <laughs> It'll make you feel good.